I'm Kristen Hetzel, vacation planner, world traveler, Disney foodie, and theme park fan. I'm Al John Go. I'm the husband who's also Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel Comics fan. And together, we host the Disney List Podcast. Every week, you'll hear us list our favorite things about Disney theme parks, films, shows, travel, Marvel, and Star Wars in a top 10 list, rankings, and more. That's an impressive list. Subscribe to the Disney List Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or your favorite podcast platform. You can even stream us on Source of Radio at srsounds.com and check out our live shows on Facebook, the Disney List Podcast. Visit thedisneylist.com. The land down under has never been easier to reach. United Airlines has more flights between the U.S. and Australia than any other U.S. airline, so you can fly nonstop to destinations like Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane. Explore dazzling cities, savor the very best of Aussie cuisine, and get up close and personal with the wildlife. Who doesn't want to hold a koala? Go to united.com slash Australia to book your adventure. This is Kat from Dining at Disney, and I'm here with Al John. Al John, tell us about some travel deals. Oh, I've, do I have a travel deal for you, Kat? Disney Plus subscribers can save up to 20% on rooms this holiday season. Tis the season for deals. Disney Plus subscribers saving those deals. All you have to do is make sure that you get in touch with Kristen there and uh, email her. Be a Disney Plus subscriber to save that discount 20% off rooms. Of course, there are those special procedures, all right? So when you stay at a deluxe, a Disney a deluxe villa resort, you can experience more attractions and more Yuletide joy than ever with extended theme park hours. And you can also get more fun on select nights over at Magic Kingdom and Epcot. Experience all those evening events that happen as well. So go ahead and make it happen. Um, call Kristen, email Kristen rather, theme parks and cruises at gmail.com. I know you were going to ask me where I can, you can email Kristen. I was, Kristen, but it's okay. But I'm just going to say that. I like email it. Kristen. Just email Kristen. She is your guru for all things travel at themeparksandcruises at gmail.com. And uh, hey, gang, don't forget, <laughs> producer Al John here to remind you, this episode is brought to you by our friends at Shure. We use the Shure MV7 podcast mic. It's brand new. It's awesome. And it's based off a radio mic that I used to use called the SM7B, which was so cool. It's a dynamic microphone, but unlike the old one that I used to use in radio, this one has both USB and XLR outputs. You don't need a fancy fancy interface. You just plug it in. You'll let the microphone do the work for you. You can even download the Shure Plus Motif app, and you can dial in the perfect tone. You can talk from a distance, make those conference calls awesome, or if you're a creator like us, you can make that podcast stand out even more, less work, and more awesomeness. Let the microphone do the work for you pick up that mv7 podcast microphone at our friends at shore shure.com you can also check out our friends at gator framework studio they supply all kinds of great uh, stands and lights av kits for you and your content creation at home or in your studio let them know that we sent you here at dining at disney podcast there at gatorframeworks.com from the gator framework studio in music city it's the Dining at Disney podcast. You know the thing about good food? It brings folks together all walks of life. You'll discover all the best restaurants and food as you hungrily explore the Disney parks. Let's do this thing! The Dining at Disney podcast with your hosts, Kristen Hetzel, Bubba Alvarez, and Kat Arcori. Welcome to the Dining at Disney podcast. I am Kat experiential producer, film history, buff, uh, all-around nerd. And uh, I am here with Bubba. Bubba. Yes, this is Big Bubba. I am here. I am a Disney and food lover. So what better way to show my love than to talk to you guys about Disney and food? And we have Mr. Jedi Masketeer himself, Al John Go. Hey, gang, uh, big Disney, Marvel, Star Wars fan, freakazoid, and also musician and content creator. Thank you for joining us on the show. Mm -hmm. If you haven't already, please make sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to know when we post new shows. We have some news today, so let's jump right in. Bubba, tell us what's happening over at Disneyland this week. 
Tours have officially restarted at Disneyland after being temporarily suspended due to, you know, after, before COVID, uh, you know, they, they happened, but COVID hit, they stopped as of October 5th. You can enjoy two new tours at the Disneyland Resort. Um, one will be starting actually next month, I believe. So we'll talk about those real quick. The Walt's Main Street Story Tour that will take you to Walt's apartment. You'll stroll through behind the scenes uh, stuff uh, on Main Street. You'll have refreshments. You also get photo pass with this. So any pictures you take you know, with the photo pass person will be free, most likely throughout the day too. Uh, and you'll also get a commemorative lanyard that runs, uh, I believe, one hundred and sixty dollars a person. And it is a 90 minute tour. Uh, you can book, uh, I believe, six up to 60 days in advance for those for that tour. And then we have the holiday time tour at the Disneyland Resort. This is a two and a half hour tour. And it only runs one hundred and ten dollars per person, which both you can book both of these tours online. So you'll be able to uh, see seasonal uh, seasonal festive decorations all above Main Street or and uh, it, let me see what else. You also get photo pass with that a refreshment uh, time for, you know, free refreshments and stuff like that. You'll also be able to ride Small World while it's it has its little holiday uh holiday renovation and so, so and another commemorative lanyard with this one too so this is the one to go for i think uh i don't think you can book this one yet but you can do the waltz uh footsteps uh let me double check yes you can do the waltz footsteps right now uh they do offer certain times you can go uh and also with the christmas one you can do uh preferred viewing for the parade also later that night so that also comes with that that the holiday one seems to be the good deal right there for a two and a half hour tour. You get to watch the parade and, uh, you know, I think people need to jump on that. We might jump on it too. So we made reservations in December. We just renewed our passes the other day too. Oh, so oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. So we did it. Oh. We did the lower, the, not the big one, but the, you know, second biggest one. So yeah, yeah. we'll get our cool. blue magnet soon. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wanted to add that I have done the holiday tour in the past. Of course, it's not the same because this one is brand new, but I've done it in the past. It's really wonderful. I would highly recommend it. We I did the it. Halloween one, too, and that one was so much fun. Oh, wow. really? Nice. Yeah. I love the tours. The guided tours are a lot of fun. If you haven't tried it, I know that it's a, an extra added expense, but I think the experience that you get with the cast members going behind the scenes uh, through the parks, I think is something that you'll never forget. And it's mm -hmm. so much fun. Yeah. It's incredible. And I have to say, uh, we did, I did the holiday tour. I would, I want to say it was like 2011. Yeah. No, it had to be 2009, 2009. I did it. And I was by myself and I was with a group. It was like me and then everybody else in the group knew each other. So I made friends with the tour guide mm -hmm. and we were like <laughs> chatting it up. And then like a month later, I went to the D23 event for princess and the frog at the studio and that same tour guide was my tour guide at the studio oh, Man, that's working awesome. it. it was so <laughs> cool it was she remembered me we had such a great time her name was beth so she was wonderful oh. beth, if you're out there we love you um <laughs> nice. it was such a great time and like she knew absolutely everything there was to know about disney history those kids are really knowledgeable the plaids know everything they make it their mission to know everything so i love the plaids uh, yes. let's be honest you know they're the best and uh, they make your trip so much more memorable and i'm glad you had that experience cat uh, yeah it was great we highly recommend the tours so we are glad the tours are back mm -hmm. yes i love that mm -hmm. so moving on well yeah let's let's jump an ocean away from disneyland and head over to aulani uh, Al John, what's happening at Aulani this month? Well, there's a lot of reimagined fine dining experiences that uh, you're going to be able to, uh, I guess, take part in. They've got this four course prefix dinner menu over there at the resort signature dining experience. A M A. Uh, how did you say that? Ama Ama. Ama Ama. Ama 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 Ama. All right. I like Ama 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 be there. Ama be there. No, it's like, and you pull the Ama Ama from out of the sea, like from Elvis. Of course, of course, of course, of course. 
course. Uh, you know, we had nothing to do with that film. Um, but I'm just joking. We actually we had everything and to do Elvis. with that. New, we had everything to do with that new Elvis film. Um, so yeah, check that out. Aulani Resort and Spa over at Ama Ama. And uh, the great thing about this is that it's an homage to the spirit of Hawaii with unique flavors and high quality ingredients. Um, Chef de Cuisine, Nicholas Amarillo. Has got this gluten free. There you go, cat. Gluten free, plant based option for everyone to enjoy. <laughs> so they have this new menu offering um, that includes lox opacaca, opa opapaca. Right? Did I say that right? Sure. Okapaka with green Sounds citrus good. and yeah, opapaka, opapaka, o- opapaka. Okay, okie dokie. <laughs> with green citrus <laughs> and raw pickled vegetables and the savory pork belly. Oh, mm, with scallion yeah. sauce, onions, kawaii, <laughs> honey, and oak. Uh, Okinawan street potato, sweet potato. Sweet. And then you have a uh, pastry chef, Carolyn Portundo has prepared a decadent selection of desserts, including the local flavors of Likoi, uh, calamansi, coconut, mango, macadamia, and Kona coffee. Mm. And they also mm. unveiled this globally curated list to enhance your dining experience with this awesome, you know, I guess they've got uh, a wine list that they curated. Very nice. I love it when they do that. Mm-hmm. And they also have this enhanced decor with live music, which oh, so good. I, I can just imagine just relaxing with these new dishes, listening to authentic Hawaiian music with this breathtaking view of Koalana Beach. So it's a perfect place to relax and stretch your legs. Of course, you can always contact Kristen, who's not here today, by the way. But she will be uh, in a future episode. <laughs> um, uh, yes. But uh, but once again, you can make your reservations by calling Kristen and emailing her at themeparksandcruises at gmail dot com, and you can find out more about this particular um, new menu offering as well as their curated wine list at disneyalani dot com forward slash dining. And there you. I go. have friends oh, there at the Alani right now, and their yeah. pictures look amazing from there oh. it's funny you say that because i'm jealous i have a friend literally we're talking at work today and he's like oh, i'm getting married and we're going to alani i'm like oh yes. oh you lucky ducky so yes. lucky duckies all uh, who lucky duckies all who get to experience this exactly. yeah. Oh, yeah one day we will too um so anyway and don't forget yes. to you can make a you can make uh, reservations up to 30 day in advance 30 days in advance um so go ahead and do it now book it now well get okay. we're gonna book it over to the disney's wilderness lodge <laughs> in orlando florida to talk about their new menu updates go cat i'm go. really excited for this yeah go cat i'm staying at copper creek in march for my birthday Ooh. So I may have to explore some of these new menu items over at Territory Lounge and Roaring Fork. Mm. Um, you thought my puns were bad? The menu is entering a whole new territory. <laughs> I can't wait. At Territory Lounge. <laughs> You're welcome. I can't wait. Um, so they have really good popcorn and you're going to have a popcorn sampler which features the chef's take on popcorn with spicy caramel sea salt truffle and barbecue flavors sign me up yes please yes. Yes. Um, an artisanal cheese and charcuterie which is hung from a clothesline a little miniature clothesline i love that I, it's nice. so cute it's like what a little a shop idea. and like, you go buy a meat shop and all the meat's hanging exactly, exactly. it's like a cured meat shop i love it <laughs> so cute yes meat tastes better oh. when it's hung upside down sure <laughs> that's what they say yes uh chef brian knox has carefully selected some oh. oregon and utah cheeses with a focus on smoky notes and even a cheese wrapped in honey and sea salt Ooh. uh they are accompanied by some honeycomb pickled vegetables and handcrafted bread mm. they're also adding flatbreads to their menu the loaded baked potato flatbread Ooh. with bacon wow. potato chive cream cheese and creme fraiche and also the salmon run which is topped with in-house dill-cured gravlax salmon and truffle cream cheese, fried capers, onions, black sea salt, and dill. Oh, heck yeah. That's Those the deal sound, right there. All, all of it sounds delicious. And this all looks so good. Delicious. Yes. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> you said dill. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they are also adding some bacon on the wire and the bone and brie. 
Bacon on a Wire is black pepper candy bacon cured in smoked paprika and bourbon, cold smoked and roasted perfectly with a bourbon glaze. Al John. Mm-hmm. And Hung it doesn't just... Down too. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like the one from the Edison. We love it. That's right. Oh my it, gosh. Mm-hmm. They better have more also, bacon on there. They better. It's like, you know, three pieces ain't enough. We need more right. bacon on that, on that clothesline. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it also features some deviled eggs topped with fried shrimp, chipotle beef jerky, and salmon candy with bourbon drizzle. And the bone and brie is uh, a roasted bone marrow, honey baked brie in a cast iron skillet with Marion berry onion jam. And they're saying this shareable dish is a must try. It looks wonderful. I must say. Bone marrow is Can I tell you how, how good the bone marrow is? I mean, that that to me is like... The, old, the, young you Fili- try, people. The, mm-hmm. the young Filipino in me is is glowing right now. But the last time I had bone marrow, I was at Yachtsman Steakhouse. Oh yeah, and it was a maze ball. <laughs> so <laughs> so good. Yes. Oh, so good. But Love by it. the way, I, I have to also have to give a shout out about this Marion Barry making another appearance on this podcast. Yeah, the near- Marion hey, Barry, welcome back. Thanks, Marion Barry. Welcome back. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, uh, and let me also say this before I forget. I love the way the chef decided to go ahead and plate some of these appetizers and the charcuterie going vertically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not like up and down. It's not it's not like all, you know, on a plate on one thing. Charcuterie is much better vertically. Yeah, because you're sharing it typically with a other person. So having it there where both of you can kind of look at it and kind of, you know go back and forth with that. I think it doesn't really like cool. looking at food three dimensional. I mean, it's mm-hmm. just, ah. it gives you that nice, you know, that nice vertical <laughs> look. It's different. I like that. Fun. Fun. Well, Al John, I'm going to turn it over to you. Tell us about what boozy things they're going to offer. Oh gosh. Uh, I'll take one of each, please. So those yeah. of us of age who partake, you have the national 95, a coast to coast twist on the classic French 95 cocktail that combines whistle pig rye from East coast with simple syrup and sparkling Argyle but brute from West coast while the Lewis and Clark inspired L and C G and T. All right. Which has my name written all over it features forest gin, St. Germain, elderflower tonic and garnished with a cucumber ribbon and fresh flower. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. Love me some G and T's gin and tonics. Now, if you're interested in the more fruity side of life, they've got the orchard's bounty, which is made of kettle one peach and orange blossom, botanical vodka, house made Pinot Gris syrup, Pinot Gris syrup. Wow. And Dolan Mm -hmm. Blanc vermouth and April. So, Mm -hmm. uh, that is, uh, that is very uh, citrusy right there. Sangria fans will love the orange spice sangria, the Chateau uh, St. Michel Saint Cabernet, Michelle. which we've talked about many times on the mm-hmm. show. The country orange liqueur, apple cider, house-made orange spice syrup, and Northwoods master, uh, masterfully brings together the bullet rye, one of my favorites, mm-hmm. house-made rosemary syrup and citrus juices and maple into one delicious cocktail. And... If you're into something fun, check oh. out the S'mores Old Fashioned, which is the oh. Elijah Craig bourbon, toasted marshmallow <laughs> syrup, and chocolate bitters garnished with a perfectly toasted marshmallow. Yum. So good. And they also have the Elias. It's the Timeless Elias. Smoking libation featuring Macallan 12-year scotch. Where's my horn? <laughs> uh, house-made vanilla bean syrup and Covassier. Uh, so so tempting. Wow. Yeah, that's really good. And uh, Bubba, why don't you take us in with this uh, offering here into more journey of the culinary arts here? <laughs> well, Territory Lounge bringing their best foodie games going to take you on a culinary journey through uh, out west and get your taste buds ready. So on October 11th, Rowing Fork, uh, they will kickstart your day with the meat and potatoes quiche with broccoli potatoes bacon ham gouda cheese and the vegetable lovers quiche with peppers onion leeks green peas potatoes broccoli fresh herbs and cheddar cheese uh if you want something warm they'll have uh, fresh cinnamon rolls with blueberry and blueberry cream cheese frosting or the extra large warm grizzly bear claw that's right up my alley with mixed nuts and raisin 
fillings. So you can also get an Asian style noodle salad with tofu, mixed vegetables, crispy rice noodles, and fried wontons. You can add chicken or shrimp to any of your those salads right there. And the heirloom uh, tomato salad, which is pickled wild mushrooms, burrata cheese, red pepper pesto, and basil for wow. the lighter option. That's right up Kristen's and, alley right there. And I'm, I'm going to say this very slow. The country style baked meatloaf <laughs> features buttery green peas, chunky mashed potatoes, <laughs> and gravy for a classic meal. Oh I feel like God. that Arby's guy. <laughs> we got and the to meet. barbecued brisket burnt ends oh. and brisket and burnt ends with potato hash, fiery coleslaw, and cornbread. Oh, man, that is comfort food for you mm-hmm. right there. I love Thank you for too. letting me talk about that because that sound that that was amazing. Uh, <laughs> so, what desserts will they have? Cats. Oh well, let's see. Roaring Fork all day will have an almond wheat bundt cake, which has a coffee glaze and cream cheese icing. They also have a blueberry thyme crumb pie, which has blueberry and thyme. That one's going to be seasonal, so it'll change throughout the year. The adorable bear mousse cake, raspberry mousse, almond cake, and dark chocolate ganache, which looks like a little bear. It's so cute. <laughs> and of course, lastly, Humphrey the Bear Yay. hive cake. It is a chocolate cake with passion fruit mousse, sugar bees, and a white chocolate Humphrey on top. I love that. Yes. Humphrey is my dad's name, so I always associate, yeah, Humphrey the bear with my dad. Just I love that. Love it. I I associate myself with Big Al. Blood on the saddle. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm Trixie. Oh, Trixie. (laughs) I love it. Man, it's been a (laughs) We're all all about them bears. Mm -hmm. Um. My gosh, this menu is unbelievable. It's so there, good. I love it. I love the updates. I mean, we got that. This is probably one of the best Snow menus White. I've read in a while. Yeah. 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 We got the update with Snow White over yep. at their uh, uh, fine dining restaurant. Mm-hmm. And uh, now we're getting some updates to their quick service restaurants and their lounge. So I love it. It's They're, great. Everything's slowly getting a makeover now. Yeah. And I love it. I love the crafted cocktails. And let me say that that um, that old fashioned, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I love that old fashioned, and not to mention, uh, I also like the little the meatloaf. But the desserts are just awesome. Uh, yeah. Any mini bunt cake for me, it it's totally on point. I'm, I'm, I'm you had me at like mini bunt cake, but <laughs> uh, do you guys have a favorite one out of this menu? Oh, that meat, that burn ends. I mean, the meatloaf and the brisket and bird ends. That's that's everything for me right there. That speaks to you. <laughs> I can see that. Cat. I want that that the ninety five drink. The like take on a old fashioned um, uh, French ninety five. I want that. Yeah, it's that good. looks amazing. And I'll be honest, it, you had me a charcuterie board. Like the charcuterie board, just oh yeah, does it for me all every time, all the time, and uh, it's. You know, when people say charcuterie board, it sounds really bougie, but just (laughs) the fact that it's just a lot of great different flavors and I love meats and cheese and and the accompaniments are always just great. So you can feel fancy schmancy, but it's really not. It's just fun. It's just a fun Mm -hmm. thing. Anyway. Yeah. Well, let's jump a little bit further into the year and talk about the candlelight processional at at Epcot. Um, They've announced some new hosts coming to do the readings there with the Voices of Liberty acapella ensemble and a 50-piece live orchestra. It's always a big show over there. Um, Starting November 25th, which I believe is right after Thanksgiving, though I have no idea what day it is today, so I could be wrong. Um, Is it? Yeah, right? (laughs) Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, Thursday is always, Um, the the Thursday is always Thanksgiving. The 24th and 25th. 24th is Thanksgiving. Yeah, okay, 20, there we go. So Friday. Black Friday. Black Friday. Black. Yeah. <laughs> um, they are going to be uh, sharing the tradition again this year with the community and invite guest choirs from across Florida. And choirs comprised of Disney cast members will also return, which we love to see. Um, who hasn't read yet? 
Al John, it's your turn, I think. Oh, sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> so, tell us about the celebrity narrators. Oh, I'm man. Like dying do we right have now, you guys. Some, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Do we have some celebrities <laughs> or do we have some celebrities? Wow. I we wish do. I wish I was here because they have so many new fresh faces that will be doing the narration of the, the Christmas story. But Simu Liu, what up, Simu Liu? Yeah. Shang Chi in the house. Shang Chi forever. I love it. So uh, Shang Chi is one of the new ones. Um, uh, Adama is back. Edward James Olmos, my man. Yeah. Raul Esparza. <laughs> yeah. Whoopi Goldberg Guinan will be there. Isabella Rossellini. Damon John is brand new. Josh Gad Olaf is brand new. Uh, okay. Take- okay. No, I we can't say Josh eat. Gad anymore. Though we have to say Disney legend Josh Gad according oh. to his speech. Look, if Disney legend Josh Gad does not read the Candlelight Processional as Olaf, I quit. <laughs> he sounds he's the doing, same. Oh, he's, again, doing he's, yeah, yeah. he's doing everything as Olaf. He's doing everything as Olaf. That's true. Okay, everything. I'm sorry. Let's back up. Uh, Disney legend Josh Gad <laughs> and also uh, Gloria Estefan doing the conga. Uh, one of our perennial favorites, Neil Patrick Harris, Doogie Hauser, MD, will be there. And one of my personal Personal favorites, Mariska Hargitay from Law & Order SVU. Dun, 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 Mariska Hargitay exactly. to YouTube. I don't know. Thank you very much. Mariska yes, you got that. Mariska Hargitay. Mariska Hargitay <laughs> will be there. Uh, for the sports fans out there, what's, what's up with this, bub? Cal Ripken Cal Jr. Cal Ripken, baby. Holy yes. cow. That's awesome. Yeah. I got his. I still have his baseball cards, man. I Ooh. know, right? Cal Ripken. Uh, also... A little bit country and a little bit rock and roll. This part country, Marie Osmond will be there. <laughs> Courtney Vance and everyone's favorite queen, Angela Bassett. Uh, Wakanda forever, Angela Bassett. I was say, yep. mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. My queen. My queen. <laughs> and uh, man, See, what a queen. kind of my up, queen, man. too, if you remember the Golden Dreams Disney California. Oh. Uh, as, as Calafia. Sorry, she. Yeah. I missed that attraction. That, that oh, but yeah, Disney Angela. Legend what also a would genuine, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disney Legend. Genuine treasure. Over. And there's a there's a lot of fresh faces, and I think it's great that everyone here is just such a superstar on this lineup. So no matter when you go, you're gonna be able to see and get their take on the Christmas story. And wow. I just, I'm blown away by this lineup. It's an amazing lineup, guys. And mm-hmm. three shows a night. Wow. Wow. Yeah, right? Oh, I can't believe so, it. So very cool. So secure your spot by booking Candlelight Processional during, um, Candlelight Processional Dining Package. Uh, of course, tickets go on sale now as you listen to this. So when I say now, I guess you're listening to it tonight. So that would be tomorrow, October 6th. And you can find out more about this by visiting <laughs> EpcotHolidays.com. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully Anna, we'll talk about Disneyland so cool. soon. Hopefully. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure they're going to announce that stuff soon. Yeah. yeah. I don't problems. know. If it's not going to be as early as this, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. It'll just probably be two or three nights again. Yeah. yeah. That is That's so cool. All right. That is so cool. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Cool. I think that's it for today. I think that is. I think yeah. that is. Well, yeah. uh, well, I guess, yeah. should I go ahead and lock out? Because I'll lock out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. It's All right, Kat. Is it, is we, see, I'm looking at you, Kat. I love you, Kat. Go ahead. I know. We, we, I love you, too. We hope you've enjoyed the show today. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button and like us because we need your validation. Those of you who <laughs> want to support the show. I need you to know also- <laughs> you love me. I need to know. <laughs> Tell us how great we are. <laughs> Those of you who want to support the show, you can also donate to us on Anger monthly for as little as 99 cents or shop our links like Amazon, Disney Store, and Garden Grocer on dining at Disney.com. Bubba, tell everyone where they can find you and us. Instagram, you can find me, big underscore Bubba underscore B. And for Dining at Disney, you could go to diningatdisney.com, follow us on social media, all the social media links you could think of, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it, we're there. And she is not here. But if you want to do that great travel deal Al John talked about or get your get ready for the candlelight vigil and start planning right now, call or sorry, we said call. I said that. Email Kristen at theme parks and cruises at gmail.com and she will hook it up. 
Al John, where can everybody find you? Well, you can find me on Instagram at Al John Go. Yes, you can. And uh, you can also enjoy our fellow podcasts, The Disney List with Kristen and myself, Skull Rock Podcast with myself, and Disney Legend, of course, Dave Bossert. Not officially Disney Legend, but we'd like to think so. In our hearts. In our hearts. Number one in our hearts. That's right. WDW Park Hoppers and WDW uh, and Disney Parks Podcast. And let's not forget the wonderful, spectacular, amazing, fantastic, uncanny cat and her bite-sized podcast, Eat the Pictures. That's right. Don't forget to join our Facebook group at Dining at Disney. You can also check out our friends, the Disney Dorks, on Facebook, as well as our friends at Source of Radio and the Disney Source of Radio Disney Fun Zone. Don't forget to check us out at Source of Radio at srsounds.com. Cat. Well, until next time, I have been Cat. That has been Bubba, and that has been Al John. Bon appetit. The information and opinions expressed in this podcast are for entertainment and informational purposes. All other trademarks mentioned are the property of their respective owners. Eat the Pictures is a bite-sized movie podcast. Every week we look at the ways different movies from classic horror to rom-com use food to tell stories on screen. Food unites us all. Let's explore it piece by piece on Eat the Pictures. Stay hungry. Skull Rock Podcast, talking all things Disney, with your hosts, Al John Goh and Dave Bossert. Do you just love to learn more about the magic that embodies animated films, theme park attractions, and more? The all-encompassing universe created and produced by the genius of Walt Disney has spanned nearly 100 years in counting. From his earliest film endeavors with the Laughagram cartoons and the Alice comedies, to the creation of Mickey Mouse, to the first animated feature film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and then dreaming up Disneyland, Walt Disney continuously raised the creative bar, and today his company has carried on that tradition as a global entertainment juggernaut. I'm Dave Bossert, artist, filmmaker, and author. And I'm Al John Go, musician, podcaster, and radio guy. Every week, Dave and I will explore the entertainment galaxy that is Disney with insightful conversation, stories, and special guests talking all things Disney. Listen to never-before-heard stories and behind-the-scenes moments from some of your favorite Disney films, theme park attractions, performances, books, music, and so much more from knowledgeable, insightful, and thought-provoking hosts and guests. Hear the latest news about Disney past, present, and future. Skull Rock Podcast is your go-to source for the magic we all love. Skull Rock Podcast. Visit SkullRockPodcast.com.